I just wanted to film an unboxing of my early birthday present um, to myself. Uh, a month early, actually. So, um, I wanted to get a Le Creuset for a long time. And they're always so expensive. And um, I was looking for a deeper pan for, like, one-pot meals. Because the two pans that I have, they're just not deep enough. So, I was Googling deep saute pans. And these kept on popping up. Um, but I was like, oh, I'm not getting a Le Creuset because it's just too much money. And then, like, the other ones that were popping up, they were also enameled pans. And they were just, like, the reviews said that they chipped all the time. And it was, like, 50-50. They chipped half the time, and half the time they were okay. So then I was just like, screw it. Maybe I'll just splurge on a Le Creuset because I'm turning 40 in a month. And I'm not, obviously, having any kind of a birthday because of the coronavirus so um my goal was to like look around on online to see if I can get it cheaper because there's no way in hell I'm paying like retail price for this so I was able to find some Le Creuset stuff I actually got two things um the only reason I was able to get two things is because they were a discounted um they were from William Sonoma and they were about half the price of what they normally were so basically the two items that I have here equal the price of this if it was retail which I am paying so um, anyway let me do like an unboxing I already opened it but uh, <laughs> I just wanted to remember this I don't know where I'm gonna put this um, and I'm not bragging or anything like believe you me I will be working to pay myself back for this I'll be working all right working um, okay so the first thing is I have this little grill pan and it's heavy. Um, I know my couch area is kind of a mess. I don't sit on the couch when it's hot. So I always put a blanket down. Um, so this is a grill pan. I haven't washed anything yet. I just got it yesterday. So it's like, I think it's 13 pounds. It's very, very heavy. Um, and it's cast iron, coated cast iron. So you can get the grill marks from it. This can go in the oven, so you can, like, sear pork chops and steaks on this. Um, you probably put, like, maybe three pork chops, or it depends. I don't know. Um, it's not as big as I thought it was, but I think it was supposed to be, like, a foot long, and I think it's about that. Um, so, yeah, you could sear stuff, and then you can finish cooking it in the oven, so you can get those fancy grill marks, which, you know, I'm a foodie, so I'm, like, totally into food presentation. Um, so... I'm excited to use this. I bought, um, I have a lot of pork products, like this big pork loin, so I can like cut them into like pork chops and sear them. I have some steaks. Um, so yeah, um, I don't want this video to be too long. So there's that. Um, so, and then the, the back is uh, just cast iron and it goes right on the stove. And I have an induction cooktop now. So it's been a challenge to uh, cook with it. But these are supposed to be good for induction cooktops too. And this has like an ombre effect. It's probably hard to see it, but it's um it's in the teal color. And it's like ombre, it's like dark at the bottom and then lighter towards the top. And then this one, this video is like almost four minutes long. This is it's not a Dutch oven. Um this is just like I think it's called a chef's oven. So this is the um, the deep saute pan that I was looking for for one pot meals. And I get a little um, instruction booklet on how to care for it and stuff. Oh, I like that purple. It was really hard to choose a color. But like these things are like for life. Like everybody who has a Le Creuset like has it for life and they pass it down. I don't know who I'd pass it to, but... Um, anyway, so, again, it hasn't been washed, so, obviously I will wash it. Focus. So, um, it has the Le Creuset sticker on it. And this is also ombre. I'm trying to, like, get my shadow out of the way. It's dark at the bottom and lighter at the top. It's also in the teal color, so it matches the grill. And my accent color is teal. I know it's not an exact match, obviously, but I'm not matching it to the kitchen. Um, and yeah, it's a mess. I have, like, socks over there. 
whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to use this. And so yeah, like I make, I like to make a lot of one pot meals, but I just needed something deeper. This is the same size as my other pans. It's just a lot higher up. So you can make like chicken thighs and rice and you don't have to worry about the rice like over, like pouring out because that seems to happen. Um, and then it's just a mess to clean up. And, um, you can't even stir anything in the pots that I have for one pot meals. And so, yeah, I don't know. I'm happy about it. Um, like I said, these are usually for life. So, um, the colors are really awesome too. So yeah, I'm just happy about it. And, um, this is my, this is my 40th birthday present to myself. This is pretty much the only kind of birthday I'm going to have this year. So, so yeah, that's it. And, uh, tonight I will be cooking with this. Um, and even the lid has the ombre too. It's like dark here and goes lighter. And this stainless steel thing. I'm glad I have a stainless steel top because some of them have a black top. And the black top you can only put it in the oven to like 300 degrees. But the stainless steel, it can go any temperature. So, so yeah. I guess I should close this video. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, and um, I'm excited to begin cooking with this, and I have a whole bunch of ideas of what I can make in this, and I'm so glad I actually have a pan that is deeper, and that's cast iron, that's not, that's pre-seasoned, so I don't have to season it, and uh, we'll see what creations I come up with.